to Norfolk Fords. Today I'm with Dad. It's really cold in here, Dad. What are we doing? Looking at the bowls this morning, just checking that they're all okay. Because they're being stored, ready for planting, ready to make into flowers. So we'll take them round in a minute and show you that piece as well. Okay. But here, these are being stored at three degrees, I think it is. So the bulbs don't do too much of that, which is starting the shoots going. And why don't we want the shoots going too soon? Because when you start the planting, you damage them. We don't want to damage them. But most of them are fine. Most of them are okay. All right, okay. This is the machine we use to plant bulbs. A box of bulbs is tipped onto this shaking conveyor belt where they're slowly fed along to the placement area. You can see there that there are on this conveyor belt there are a series of holes. All the bulbs have to be placed upside down onto these holes. So then this chap on the end here inspects the trays for planting in the glass houses and then he flips the tray over and places it on the back of the bulbs. The trays are then pressed onto the bulbs with these pneumatic rams. This is done because the trays have a series of spikes in the bottom of the tray to secure the bulbs in place so when they start to grow they do not fall over. The trays are then turned the right way up and a final bit of quality control is done here to make sure any gap in the tray is filled with the bulb. The bulbs are then placed along this conveyor which takes them along in twos where then they are fed their first lot of fresh water. Trays are then picked up in a group of six by this grab and stacked on a pallet. Here are the small spikes in the trays. So why are they all stacked like this, Dad? Right, what we're doing here is, these are in the cold store at seven degrees to get as many roots as we can on them. And you can see there's nice, bright white roots on there for rooting. So what we're hoping to do is there, get all the roots out really, lot, really as much as we can, so that when they go in the glass house, they're ready to start growing and away they go. So they've probably spent three weeks in here doing this. So where's the soil then? no soil all done hydroponically as in using water that's all they need and this is why we grow our own bulbs so that we can feed the bulb and make it as strong as possible so all we have to do is now give it water same as when you was a kid and you had a daffodil on a jam jar and all the roots went down into the water and then it made a flower exactly the same principle these tulips have just had their three weeks in the cold store to mature and have now been put in the glass house as you can see, the shoots are now coming through quite strongly and the roots are spread out quite far. Here is how we irrigate the bulbs. 
we have a series of these pipes which simply have a small hole in the bottom which is just used to refresh the water. This is what the tulips look like after a week of growth in the glasshouse. The conditions in the glasshouses are controlled very carefully to ensure the best growth at the right time. These tulips are about two weeks old and now they're just ready to start picking. They'll have a couple of rounds of picking to allow for any later growers but this is the bud size that you want to start picking at so that they're nice and fresh when you get them in the supermarket. Why have these ones still got the bulbs on? I thought you'd be picking them and cutting them off. No, we take the bulbs off of those shortly. That's where we're now heading to in the back house to see the bulbs come off. We are now in the pack house and all the tulips are laid out onto the conveyor belt ready to feed into the sorting machine by hand. These units all communicate to each other to make sure that none of the belts overstock themselves. So they're slowly just keeping away, keeping everything topped up. Here, all the tulips are hung upside down to keep the bulb length all the same. So this is how we ensure that we cut the bulb at the right place in this next machine here. So everything is lined up ready for the blade to come along and remove the bulb from the stem. After being cut off the bulbs are just dropped down at the bottom here taken up this elevator and then neatly back into this box. These will then be returned to coal store and go through the grading process ready for planting next season. The tulip stems are now hung upside down, ready for the most complicated part of the bunching process. Each stem will be grabbed by an individual pincer as it goes through the next section, the x-ray machine. Each bud will be scanned with an x-ray and then onto the next process where we have this incredibly high definition camera sensor. The x-ray and the camera, there is the camera there with the flash, compare the data, count the pixels in the head, and do a size comparison, all to do with comparing maturity. Here is just a further bit more trimming just to neaten up the bunch. This is where it gets very clever. If anything is just a little bit too small, it will be sent down the extra handling sheet. If it's sent down here, it's just a little bit small, so it needs a little bit of extra time. So that's why it needs a bit of extra handling. Then 
it has up to four options, all programmable. It will then create bunches that all have matching maturities so that the whole bunch stays fresh. And here are the bunches. You can see up the top here how different stems are brought in at different times and that's to do with keeping the maturity level the same. And then take them down into their bunches and then packaged ready for delivery into the supermarket. Once all the tulips have been bunched together, they will go into another cold store to stay fresh until the lorry comes and picks them up and then they're taken off to a supermarket near you. So next time you're in the supermarket buying flowers, make sure they have a nice tight bud so they stay fresher for longer in your house. So thank you very much for watching, make sure you buy British and like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. If you haven't already followed us on Facebook and Instagram, please have a look and find us at Norfolk Fords. I've been Lewis Eves, Farm Safe.